what is going on people it is your boy daddy mac and welcome back to another pokemon tcg live video today we are going to be running a new deck this is going to be blastoise v max now this deck does consist of a chan pao ex which is going to be a, a kind of an energy accelerator let's just get some energy on hand blastoise we've already featured a card on this before a video on this card before um, but we're going to switch things up a little bit by hitting the Bax Caliber. There's been a lot of new cards that have come out since I've last used Blastoise. So think of this as a Blastoise V Max revamp deck. Um, it's actually been working really well for me. I'm hoping that it does not let me down on the videos because sometimes, I don't know why, it feels like the decks will let me down once I hit the record button. Now, as usual, we're going to go ahead and go over the deck list after um, our three to four matches. And then go from there so we are going to want to go first i'm um, kind of going uh, circling back going over our deck a lot of decks as you guys are very well aware run a lot of blast or, or sorry um shin pao and palkia v uh specifically palkia v star now i figured i would try something different and instead of running a palkia v star run a blastoise v max just because it, it hits hard <laughs> it hits really hard Palkia V-Star hits just as hard as well, but Blastoise V-Max is one of my favorite cards. I mean, look at this artwork. And then Blastoise, um, what is it? Uh, Gigantamax is also really cool. One of my favorite Pokemon, and I'm not a huge Blastoise fan. We're gonna go ahead and start with the Freaky Backs. We do have an area, um, which is where we want to be. And I think what we're gonna do for this first turn is Nest Ball, a Trim Pal. And then next turn, we're gonna have to hit the Irida, bring in the Baxcalibur and the Rare Candy and accelerate things that way. We do have a Chloralis Experiment, which will allow us to pick and choose some cards as we need, specifically three of them. Boss's Orders is gonna be nice, depending on the deck that we play against. And of course the Nest Ball. So I, I have a really good hand. It's just a matter of what could I do with this hand. A Duraludon V deck. That is going to be huge for my opponent. Okay, so right off the bat, we're going to set up the Chin Pal. I'm going to want to get my two energy cards. Um, well, actually, I can't because it needs to be active. Okay, regardless of the matter, we're going to call turn here. Next turn will allow us to get an Irida. And the only thing that I'm worried about is Freaky Backs going down. I've not played against the Duraludon B deck. I know they are really good really really good especially with the Arceus sitting in the back the possibilities in which my opponent can do are endless I'm not worried about this the only V Pokemon I'm playing is the Blastoise Lost City might be a little bit of a problem a Dar double turbo energy may also be a little bit of a problem there's another Duraludon V most of these decks play two to three Duraludon V I'm hoping that these are it for this uh, for this deck specifically now, I kind of want to Aerita. I don't want to do it yet, though, because I want to see what I can get. And I'm really content with these cards. Switch is going to be pretty crucial for us. I'm okay ditching a Chin Pao. Or not ditching a Chin Pao, an energy card. That way I can set up a Chin Pao. I'm going to go ahead and hit the Switch. And we're just going to go ahead and hit the Shivery Chill. Now, this will allow me to set up somewhat. I'm not going to set up with this one yet. Um, I'm not going to set up this Chin Pao. I'm going to set this one up. We got a Blastoise, boys. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do this and call it a turn. Right off the bat, what I can say, I need to get rid of this Arceus. And we got the boss's orders. We may or may not be able to do it. It just kind of depends. And it depends on what cards we get next turn. Okay, Path to the Peak. That's a little bit of an annoying, but it's a good thing we got the Lost Vacuum. Okay, so my opponent passes. This is gonna allow me to take the Arceus. Now, what I'm gonna do here, I absolutely need to get rid of the Path to the Peak for obvious reasons. This will allow me to use the Shivri Chill, grab my two energy cards that I'm needing. And here, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the Irida. I wanna bring in, I don't necessarily think, a, I, I don't think I need a switch. We got a Bax Calibra on play, so we're gonna play, bring in the Blastoise, and we're gonna go ahead and bring in our Red Candy. One of these Red Candies is in my prize pool. We got a Ultra Ball in the prize pool. 
And we got a couple other cards in the prize pool. Okay. So here what we're gonna do, we're gonna play the Blastoise. We're gonna rare candy things up here. And simply put, we're gonna go ahead and start powering up this Chin Pao. Now, I know boss's orders should have been my next play. But it's simply not gonna, it's not gonna happen. What I kind of want to do is just canceling Cologne. That way, in case they bring in the Arceus and the Arceus V-Star. Um, it doesn't hurt us as much. We got four energy cards that we're going to go ahead and discard. We do got the Superior Energy Retrieval, which is going to be huge. But this will allow us to get the first two prize cards of the game. I'm definitely going to use the Superior Energy Retrieval next turn. And then I'm going to hit the Iono. Oh, this is a really good first turn. Not first turn, but first um, first lead, I guess. Now, I did play Canceling Cologne in case my opponent wants to go ahead and um, evolve the RCSV into an RCSV star. Adventure's Discovery is going to be huge, and this is going to tell us whether they're playing one, I mean two Duraludon or three. So, they grab their three uh, Pokemon needed to evolve. I don't mind the V-Star because I can get rid of it next turn. I'm almost confident I can get rid of it next turn. Now, my question is, am I going to have to get rid of the Duraludon V-Max? I think the getting rid of this is going to be worth. And that's going to suck for us because gonna, they're going to take our Braxcalibur. Right? This does 200, 280. Hmm. That's rough. That kind of throws things off a little bit. I wonder why this didn't work. Weird. Does it not count with B, with uh, these abilities, the B star abilities? Makes me wonder that. For obvious reasons, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to sack off the Greninja. I was going to hit the Superior Energy Retrieval, but it's just not going to be worth it right now. I want my Blastoise, specifically because I can get rid of this eventually. This Duraludon is going to its going to be hard. It's going to be tough to come by. I'm okay with them taking an energy, a, a price card, specifically a second with this Greninja. We're gonna hit this up. We're gonna evolve this. We're gonna have to get rid of our boss's orders, unfortunately. And they're gonna get a hand advantage too. So here we're gonna go ahead and hit the nest ball. We're gonna bring a Frigibax. Next turn, we're gonna have to Ultra Ball, <laughs> and that's gonna be turn. Now, um. Honestly, I don't know what to do next turn. I really don't know what to do next turn. One thing that would definitely help is another colorless. And this just comes to show how quick things can turn in in the TCG game. Because now I'm a little bit afraid. I'm a little scared. It basically bossed up my Baxcalibur and it threw everything off. And another thing that really is rough is I thought this canceling cologne was going to cancel out the star birth. I think it should. I don't know what happened there. There's another RCSV. Another Umbreon, which is going to be huge. There's Trinity Nova, and they're going to set up another attacker. That's going to be pretty good for my opponent. Not good for us, by any means. I would assume they power up this Arceus. Oh, they do have a Darkness Energy. Well, obviously they do right here. Okay. I'm cool with it. 
Now, what I'm gonna do here, um, I, I really don't like my chances right now. I really, really don't. Okay, Irida is actually not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and play her right now. We're gonna grab a Baxcalibur. And we're gonna play, I think this is gonna be worth. We're gonna do that. These are the two cards we're gonna play right now. Now, we're gonna go ahead and evolve the Figgy Backs for obvious reasons. Superior energy retrieval is just too good right now. And I'm gonna use it at, right after this for obvious reasons. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit the superior energy retrieval. We're gonna get rid of both of these. And we're gonna grab our four energy cards. And honestly, we just set up here. Okay. I'm gonna have to get rid of what? Five? I don't I don't like I don't like it. We're just gonna have to. We're gonna have to. And we're gonna grab two more. Hopefully these next two cards will give us some kind of an um, some kind of an advantage so we can get rid of the next Pokemon. Floorless experiments is actually not too bad. I can live with it. Now my one thing I'm really scared of is this Duraludon. Because if I don't get the cards I'm needing this next turn, I'm going to lose. Straight up. What I would need is a boss's orders to potentially win. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think that's going to happen. As a matter of fact, what I'm probably going to do right after this game is get rid of these so i can bring in a professor's research i'm gonna start i'm gonna get rid of them for professor research wow and that's just we we just lost straight up lost pulverized our backs caliber We're gonna go ahead and bring in the Blastoise. I don't like this one bit. These two would actually be okay. We're gonna get rid of this anyways. I think those were the only two backs calibers I'm running in this deck. I'm almost certain. So what we're gonna go ahead and do, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and attach this here. And we're gonna just, oh, I can't, I don't know, because I use Chloris Experiment. So we'll see what happens next turn, I guess. We lost. The only way I win is if we get a boss's orders. My opponent has three prize cards. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the game plan is for us. Escape rope happens. Um... I'd be okay with sacrificing this Jin Pao here. I believe I'm playing in, um, I, I think it's what, Ordinary Rod? I think I'm playing one Ordinary Rod in this deck. I'm almost certain I am. Umbreon V Max is not gonna knock us out. I'm okay with that play, because I was gonna hit my Iono anyways. Give us something good. This is not bad. Now it's bad without the Max Caliber. <laughs> Max Darkness. I'm cool with it. Bring it. The reason behind that is because I can start powering this up. I'll play this. We'll bring in the Switch. Ultra Ball. And another Snow... Now Escape Rope is better. I'm gonna let this thing go down. We're gonna let it go down. We'll bring in this Shibri Chill here. And straight up, I'm okay with going for the Ultra Ball. We're gonna get rid of this because we got a switch and I really wanna keep one of their VMAX Pokemon. And then this is gonna tell me my Ordinary Rod is probably in my prize field zone. And I ain't gotten nothing else. 
So the only way we win this now is if we get set up with five energy cards with the Chin Pao. Now, if they pulverize me, it's it's done. <laughs> I really want a boss's orders. If I can get a boss's order, and they're just gonna keep doing that. I just lost, unless I can get a boss's orders here. There he is, okay. I feel good. Now I feel really good. I'm okay with that as well. 100% okay with that, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boss up this Umbreon. And I'm gonna put them in a place in a position in which they're gonna have to unless they have a boss's orders or a switch or anything like that But I'm gonna bring in this Umbreon and I'm gonna trap them. At least I'm gonna hope I can trap them So here comes this chin pal Blastoise V max is absolutely not needed Shivery chill is and I only got one. Ah, that is a real bummer That is a huge bummer Oh, I can still win. We'll do that. That's game game. <laughs> oh boy, we barely won this. I had to think things through a little bit, but we won. Barely, but we, we achieved it. We didn't even have to use the Blastoise VMAX. Eventually, I am going to hope to use Blastoise VMAX in this series. And I'm not running Ordinary Rod. Okay, signs of a grass of a, sorry, electric deck. We have to mulligan. That is not good. I'd be okay with the mulligan if we got any if we got an Iono. Okay, one uh, mulligan. I'm okay with bringing in the Chin Pal. We're gonna bring in the Figgy Backs next, and that's it. They're gonna draw a card. Okay, so. A Raikou and a Maraidani X is what we're faced against and that's kind of unfortunate now here We're gonna bring in the radiant Greninja. I want to try to get a hand advantage now We're gonna need a hand advantage considering the circumstances and the cards We've literally been dealt now. We're gonna bring this in or not bring this in But we're gonna go ahead and start powering this up and we're gonna hit the two price cards or energy cards and that's turn I hope we get some kind of a trainer card. Well, actually, that's very broad. I need a supporter card. Specifically, if I can get an Iridia, we're going to be Cherry. Or an Iono. I'd be cool with an Iono as well, considering that, you know. The good news is we got the Radiant Greninja. So we can start using that as leverage to try to get the cards that we're needing. But it's not enough. I'm sorry, Greninja. I'm not saying you're not enough. I'm saying that... You know, the cards we've been dealt are not very good. <laughs> so Fleetfooted is a thing. They now have nine cards in hand and they got a sizable advantage. Because if they got a Maridon, I'm already scared. If they get an Electric Generator, I'm already scared. They probably got an Ultra Ball in there or a Nest Ball. And we're in big trouble. There's the Nest Ball probably going to bring in a Maridon. Would not be surprised if they do. Unless they have one in hand. There's a Maridon. Maridon's gonna set up another Raikou and something else. Probably a Flaffy. Or Mareep, I mean. Yep. Man, I'm reading this guy like a book. Probably has an electric generator. Ultra Ball. There's two energy cards, which is exactly what they want, considering they have a Mareep on board. This is going to come down to who can get set up first. And obviously, Blastoise V Max is not going to do us any good in this game. There's the Flaffy. We need to get rid of the Raikou. If we can get a boss's orders and disrupt their Mareep strategy, that would be Cherry. Escape Rope. We'll do Greninja. Oh, if I can get a Maridon, I can get rid of this Mareep. Disrupt things that way, too. Please, no generator. We 
This is so sick. I like when it does that. I'm okay with Greninja going down. As sad as that is. I need Freakybacks, and I do need my Chin Pals. There's the I, oh no, that disrupts everything. Well, not really, actually. This is this can actually be a good thing. We got the back Scalibur. There's the Beach Court, so we can get rid of this for free. There's the Electric Generator. That's what I was trying to avoid. They got nothing. Actually, they got two. Quite unfortunate for us, because now they got set up with the Raikou. Oh, I can take two prize cards right off the bat. Oh, they're going to knock us out. That is rough. So it looks like we're not taking anything. They take their one prize card. Beast Court is kind of valuable, not even going to lie. No, it's not. Okay, this is perfect. We're going to bring in the Nest Ball. Bring this in. We're going to get rid of that so we can play the, the Darn Mountain. And here, I'm going to get another one of these. Let's see what we can do with that. Skaters Park? It might be a good thing or a bad thing. Um, might be a good thing or a bad thing. I'd, I'll take the Ultra Ball instead. Now, that's both of our Blastoise, or that's one of them. I was thinking of the last game. Okay. Let's see what Heavy Hall brings. It reveals that we got three energy cards and we got a Baxcalibur on there. Okay. I'm actually somewhat okay with that. We're going to Shivery Chill here. I don't like the way things are looking right now. We're going to do this. I don't like that. We'll get rid of the two. I know he's probably going to get rid of my Chin Pao next turn. What we can potentially do next turn is uh, hit the Iridia. And do something that way. Now the bad news is that they got a, a Flaffy up. Maybe two. And they're going to get set up first. That's going to put us at a disadvantage. There's another Ultra Ball. That means I can bring uh oh they're playing Ampharos. There's the other Flaffy, that's two. That's a rough one. Now they can set up oh man, we're in big trouble. <laughs> is this in the hand only? I think it is. Yep. It would be kind of broken if it weren't. They're going to play this one for that one. What I would do. The good news is they can't knock us out. There's another electric generator. That Things are just piling up against us. Probably one, two. Yep. Oh, man. Things are not looking good. Tandem unit, probably another Mareep. Raichu, okay. And that's why Maridon and Raikou are really good. Really, really good. Okay. We're gonna play the Iridia. We're gonna have to get this. And then a water Pokemon. There's not much. I I mean, Blastoise is going to be a last resort kind of deal. I don't want to bring it in for obvious reasons. Hit this up. Get rid of both of these. And bring me these. We're going to Shivery Chill. Grab two more. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of this Raikou. So, two... There you go. I like how things are looking right now. 
We got two more energy cards in here. Obviously, we're going to get rid of both of these. Get rid of it. Right? No. But that's 240. We're going to have to get rid of one more. And I'll get rid of it from here. We had to. <laughs> we really did have to. Okay, we'll take the middle. I'll let him take my uh, Chin Pao. If they if they get rid of my next Chin Pao, it's game over. Uh, and Maridon is a real thing. If I want to have a chance, I need to get rid of Maridon. That requires the boss's orders. Another thing we can do, we can just, you know, use Blastoise next turn. And one-shot this thing. And hopefully knock out the Maridon later on. I have an advantage. And I think I know how I got to play this. Raichu's gonna be a huge problem if I don't get rid of that either. Now, um, my opponent's gonna get rid of my Chin Pao. What I'm gonna do afterwards, I'm gonna bring in the Blastoise. We're gonna bring in the Blastoise next turn. Hit the um, attack for 200. That'll give me two more prize cards. And then depending, ooh. That changes things. I think Blastoise is still kind of valuable because if I bring Blastoise in, it's gonna get one-shotted. I wanna to try to avoid getting one-shotted. Now, if I get one-shotted by this, so be it. It's gonna happen. Oh boy. I can still, yeah, I can still do it. We're good. We're okay. We're at an okay spot. We can still win this. Let me show you how. So what we're gonna do, we still have to bring in the Blastoise. There's no, we can't go around that. We're gonna bring in the Blastoise. We're gonna have to hit this. I have to hit this and I'm okay with getting rid of the Maridon because if I let Maridon live we're we're in for big trouble bring in the Iono um oh actually Iridia is better I really want to do that but I should not yeah we're just gonna leave the Blastoise as is Nest Ball and Iono just in case you never know okay so what we're gonna do here we're gonna Nest Ball see what I'm gonna set up another Freaky Backs just worst case scenario now, from here, I'm going to go ahead and hit the Torrential Cannon. The reason I brought in Irida is because I'm going to go ahead and sweep. We're going to hit the four energy cards, and we're going to get rid of something. I don't care what that something is. There you go. And we get the two energy on top of that. I think we won. Unless my opponent gets rid of the Backscalibur, we've won. We got the boss's orders. So let's say they want to play it safe and bring in the Mareep. I still win. Cool with that, 100%. This has turned into a Chien Pao video, <laughs> not a Blastoise. And I'm okay with that. Okay. Raichu is obviously hella dangerous right now. But regardless, if they boss his orders to my Chien Pao, I still win. I I've won this. Almost confident that I've won this. I feel good. There's the electric generator. I'm gonna say they have none. They really don't got any. Hit me with the lightning rondo and I, I've won. I think my opponent knows that too. At this point, I would just attack and let me win. <laughs> Poke gear, what is that? Please don't play boss's orders. Now, if they play boss's orders, we can still potentially win. They're not gonna play it, they're gonna play Arvin. Unless they save it. I feel good about our chances right now. I'm okay with that. Come on, attack me. Let's get this go let's get this game over with. I mean Blastoise did something, they got one knockout. Hopefully next game we can do something with it.
they got the art. They played the Arvin, I think. I wasn't paying attention, to be honest. Forest Seal Stone is pretty good. Lightning Rondo knocks us out. And this is when the Chin Pao comes in and just wins it. That was really good. I'm actually content with this outcome. Okay, so obviously we play the Iridia. Oh, wrong card. We're gonna bring in the Blastoise just because we can. And we gotta play another one of these. And simply put, we're gonna get rid of um, Blastoise. The um, Iono too. Yeah, I'm cool with the, no, let's get rid of one Ultra Ball. And we're gonna get our four. I guess it really doesn't matter what we do. Because we've won this. I'm gonna bring in, I'm gonna overkill, straight up. I'm gonna overkill. My opponent concedes. Okay, so we're gonna play the last game of the of the night. And then we're gonna do some other things. That is odd. Okay, so um It's telling me heads. My gut feeling is telling me heads. Let's see if that's the real thing. Ah oh, man. I hesitated, that's why. So let's see what happens. Okay, we're gonna have to take a mulligan. That's a little unfortunate. Dark Cry deck, maybe? We've only we only took one mulligan, which is okay. Now the good news the good news is I got a nest ball. I got a nest ball. So I'm gonna bring in the Freaky Backs next turn. We got the Rare Candy, which is actually nice as well. Obviously, we're gonna Chlorless Experiment. Oh, this is cool. Fancy. These decks are gonna get a little annoying. I forget what's the other card that's played along with these decks. But we'll find out very shortly. There's the Ultra Ball. Come on. This is gonna tell us what kind of deck this is. Oh, it's the, um, that's right. It's the United Wings deck. These decks are super good. Not even gonna lie, I have lost. Okay. Manaphy, a, man, a lot of decks are playing the Manaphy for obvious reasons, you know. Urshifu is still a big thing. It's just, the game, it can get a little annoying. This deck, what I've realized is that what this deck needs, it needs a solution for Manaphy. What is that solution? Um, boss's orders, but is it the optimal solution? It's not. Okay. So, um, what we're gonna go ahead and do here, we're gonna set up the Nest Ball. We're gonna bring in the Freaky Backs. I should have probably played the Chlorless Experiment first, but that's simply okay. So we're gonna go ahead and do this now. I'm okay doing that because they have very low um, energy costs anyways. So we're gonna have to do this because the energy cards are just too valuable for us right now. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go ahead and do this. And we're gonna play this and that's gonna be it for now. I'm okay, not, I'm okay with not hitting up the um, Shivery Chill for now. So let's see what happens next. These United Wing decks are very, very scary, to be honest with you, because what happens is the Ditto here, as you saw this sudden transformation attack, it can start hitting up United Wings. And as you can see here, this United Wings attack does 20 damage to, for each card in your discard pile, specifically Pokemon that has the United Wings attack. Right now, they have 20, which is honestly not bad, but it's gonna pile up very short, very shortly. Very, very shortly. I'm okay with that. That's actually perfect. I don't know why they did that, to be honest with you. But we'll take it. We'll take it every day. Get rid of that. Bring in the gosh darn Bax Caliber. 
hit up the rare candy and straight up what we're gonna go ahead and do here is just um oh my bad we're gonna hit the super cold and we're just gonna power this up even if it's just the two because what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna hit up the iono and we're gonna get the six we're gonna recharge our hands and this is perfect because now we got a blastoise what does this do okay so um here i'm gonna play this i honestly can just simply do this and what I'm going to do, is just because I am a, a little bit afraid of the Ditto, I'm just going to hit the Canceling Cologne. And we're going to get rid of two. Well, actually, we'll do this first. This is crucial. We're going to continue setting up. Bam. Love this. We're going to be able to use Blastoise fan finally, it looks like, at least. Okay, get rid of both of these. And that's going to knock this out. Okay, canceling cologne should, and I emphasize should, <laughs> be able to um, prevent Ditto from using sudden transformation. Or if they bring in another Pokemon with uh, with this ability, with uh, Flamingo's ability, or Flamingo, we, we should be okay. That's the main attacker in this deck, is the Flamingo, because it sets up the bench so quickly. This level ball, they're probably going to bring in another United Wings attacker, probably the Murkrow. Or the Flamingo, no, not Flamingo, it's, um, oh, wow, Ralts. Which is also a really, it's an engine to this deck. If we can get rid of this Manaphy, we're Cherry. We are Cherry. What I'm going to do next turn, though, um... What do I want to do this next turn? Maybe we hit the Iono. We're going to hit the Iono and we're going to save the um, Iridia for later. I got a feeling we're going to need it for the... I, I like saving this because obviously rare candy, but also because of the superior energy retrieval. So I think... Uh, well, the thing is I don't want them to set up so quickly with the, with the Curlia. They probably already have it on board. Or on hand. Look at the top part of your deck and discard it. Okay. This card is actually really good for this United Wings deck. And it's a little scary, not even gonna lie. Okay. So I think that's it for my opponent for now. Oh, after they professor's research and they hit three of them. So now how much do they have? One, two, or they got three, four, five. That's 200. Or no. That's 100. I was thinking 20 times 10, but it's only five. Could be worse, but it's still very concerning. Okay, and this is why we need to, to boss's orders that Manaphy absolutely need a boss's orders it the ultra ball is gonna happen and they're probably gonna bring in a a curlier or something or another united wings attacker there's another one so now they're up to six that's 120. We really need that boss's orders. If we can get that boss's order set up, we're gonna be able to take this game pretty quickly. What's very scary is we need to get rid of the ditto. And honestly, we're gonna hit the Iona next turn. I swear this canceling cologne card is not working. We're gonna just do this. I know it gives him a hand advantage, but I'm trying to shuffle in that Curlia. Okay. This is actually not bad. Hit the um, nest ball. We're gonna set up another chin pow. Uh, we'll do the blastoise. We'll do that. We'll do that. Shivery chill for obvious reasons. We only got one left. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hit the Hellblade. And we're just gonna get rid of both of these. Give me another one. Okay. Um, honestly, we need that boss's orders. There he is! Okay. This is gonna allow us to get... I wanna get rid of the Ditto for sure. And that's probably what I'm gonna do this next turn. If you do the United Wings, that's perfectly fine. I'm, I'm okay with the United Wings attack here. Because next turn, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit the Iridia. Get rid of this Ditto. Ditto is a is a menace in this deck. And so is the Murkrow. Please don't have a Curlia. There's an Ultra Ball, probably gonna get rid of more cards that have the Unite Wings attack. Or a Curlia. They're probably gonna bring in a Curlia. I don't know what they're gonna do. Ditto, maybe? Okay, I'm okay with that. No United Wings attackers, please. Curlia has, I believe, 90 HP. That means that we'll be able to get rid of it shortly. Once I get the Blastoise going, we, we should be okay. And honestly, one of the things that I can do too, I can hit the Iridia and get um, get the gosh darn um, superior whatever. Um, I'm I don't I'm drawing a blank right now. Is it discard? Oh, reveal them. Okay, I'm okay with that. They got 14 cards in deck, which might pose a problem. Okay, Collapse Stadium, I'm cool with that. They're gonna probably get rid of this. Oh, they get a, a I make sense like they get rid of the Squabilly. And they're gonna take my Chin Pao, which I'm okay with. As of right now, I'm okay with that. Iridia's coming out next turn, for sure. Because she's gonna allow us to get the Blastoise VMAX. I'm okay with that as well. United Wings knocks out our Chen Pao, which is perfectly fine. We're going to bring in the Blastoise next. And then shortly after, um, we can actually do it now because they just have a couple of attackers. I'm going to bring in the Manaphy. It, it does the same to us. Oh, we do. This is Cherry. This is actually very Cherry. We're going to do this. I'll take another Chen Pao, but most importantly, we need this. Oh, wait a minute. I messed up a little bit, didn't I? That's perfectly fine. We're going to do this. Because we're going to get the energy back anyways. I think Chlorless is a little bit too valuable for us to just ditch right now. And um, we're going to do this. Okay. Now this is going to allow us to hit the... Um, we can't bombard. I'm gonna just gonna hit the Grand Falls, knock it out. You know, it is what it is. We got no energy cards, but we do got another energy retrieval. And we're gonna take this. Okay, this is where we're gonna start doing damage next turn. Because I'm gonna take their Manaphy. I'm gonna take their Manaphy. That way I can start bombing the other two cards. I honestly, yeah, I, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Even if it... If Flamingo does a little bit of damage. I keep calling it Flamingo, but it's Flamingo. Unless I get rid of it now. Yep, I'm getting rid of it now. Because what they're going to do is they're going to keep piling these up. I really want to get rid of the Manaphy. But at the same time, I need to get rid of the Flamingo. Really have to get rid of it. Do they got any more ditto? Do these tech run four ditto? What does this do? Oh, so you draw four cards. Oh boy. They're really setting up now. They're gonna start doing 200 damage. Technically 180.
This is getting scary. They might actually win this. I really want to take that mana fee, but I don't think I should do it right now. I don't think it's worth taking it right now. Because Flamingo is just going to do a whole lot of damage. And if I let that happen, they're going to knock us out because they can do 180. That's 360. That's assuming they don't discard more United Wing attackers. Okay. So we might we might be okay. Which is good. They don't got any more Ditto unless they're on hand. And we got to get rid of this thing right now. I can't. There's no way around it. We'll do this. Glorious experiment. We're going to bring in this again. This and the freaky backs. Honestly, I, I'm not going to lie. I was looking for something else. So we'll do this. What we're also going to do is we're just going to bombard. And then next turn, we'll take that mana fee. Obviously not going to matter. So why even, you know, worry about it? Okay. And here, we can potentially get a victory. Oh, Kilo Watchroll. That's going to knock us out, isn't it? Well, this is just the Watchroll, not the Kilo Watchroll. Regardless of the matter, if they have a one of these energy cards, we're, we're, we're done. Oh, they don't. We're Cherry. We just won this. They're probably going to concede, not even going to lie. They're going to concede. They, they're not going to win this. It's unfortunate that the decks we've been playing have a mana fee. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, I'm pretty sure we would have won by now. They got nothing. They should just concede. There it is. Okay, so as always, we're going to go ahead and talk about the deck. This is what we had to bring to the table. Now, um, it's very unfortunate that in this video, we didn't get to use GMAX Bombard as much as I would love to. Um, Chin Pao was obviously the MVP of this deck um, for this series. Now, we are running two Chin Pao. We're running two Bax Caliber, two Freaky Bax, and one Arctic, um, Arctic Bax. Honestly, you can get rid of the Arctic Bax. It's not always needed. I like to have it just in case I can't pull a rare candy. Um, and I've realized that three Bax Caliber in this deck or even four is overkill. You don't need more than two. Obviously, it does suck whenever they hit you with the boss's orders. So what you can honestly do is this. So you can get rid of this and then you can go ahead and bring in this. What is it? Super Rod. I don't know why I was thinking Ordinary Rod, but you can do the Super Rod instead of the... Oh, wait a minute. Didn't mean to do that. We'll leave it for now. Now, um, you could honestly do that instead of having the Arctobax because you are running four Rare Candy in the second. That's because of consistency. So I think that would work a little bit better in case this Backscalibur gets bosses ordered. Um, but we're running two Friggy Backs, two Backscalibur, running two Blastoise V Max and two Blastoise V. Now that I think about it, that um, Super Rod is going to be really good because you only have four attackers. If you ever need to discard them or whatever, it's, it's okay. Now we have one Radiant Greninja. Radiant Greninja works really well with Chin Pao because you can get the two energy and then start accelerating the cards that you're needing with Radiant Greninja, which is pretty cool. I'm actually running three Friggy Backs. You don't really need three either, but I like consistency. So now um, we're going to go ahead and talk about the trainer cards. Now trainer cards, very important in this deck. We got one escape rope. This is kind of a staple. We're running three Iono. We run three Iono because we don't have Professor's Research, number one. Number two, we'd like to disrupt my opponent's hand. Now, number two, we're running um, two energies or two switches, I mean, straight up. Because Blastoise has such a heavy retreat cost, we need to run at least two of those. One for each Blastoise. And of course, if you're in a situation where you need to switch up the Backscalibur Chin Pao, you do have that as an option as well. Now, as far as stadium cards go, stadium cards are a little bit flexible. You don't need the snowy mountain. You can totally get rid of it and just run Skater Spark and Path to the Peak or whatever. 
Um, I don't recommend Paths to the Peak for obvious reasons, but it is something that some people tend to do once they have their, their own Shan Pal set up and run out of energies. I run the Calamity of Snowy Mountain because this will allow non-water decks to st um, stockpile some damage counters, and this will allow us to go in here and hit the G-Max Bombard for those Pokemon that are sitting in the bench and powered up using energy cards from the hand. Really good card. We didn't get to see it so much in this, um, unfortunately, but it's something that I might revisit in the near future. Running two boss's orders, two is actually a nice number. You can honestly even run three, just in case your opponent is running like a Mimikyu or something stupid like that. Now, the reason I don't run three is because if my opponent is running a Mimikyu, we could always attack with the Backscalibur and get rid of one of them if we absolutely have to do that. I have had to done that, do that before um, when we were playtesting. I didn't know what other card to use, so I threw in a Canceling Cologne. Honestly, get rid of it. This card is not working. I don't know if it's just because it's um, the game itself or I have I need to do a little bit more research, but you can get rid of this card. Typically, I had it in here because if I knock something out and my opponent brings in a Chin Pao, you know, um, it's, yeah, that, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Maybe it's not working because I'm knocking out the Pokemon, but the way I, I read it is until the end of the, your turn, your opponent's active Pokemon has no abilities. Actually, I see it now. I was misreading it. So you honestly don't even need this canceling cologne. Um, we do have the Iridia or Irida, which is actually a very, very important card to have in this deck. We are running three of them. Consistency number one. I like to use this for rare candy, and I also like to use this for the superior energy retrieval. Such a good card to have. You can pop up any water Pokemon that you're wanting. Um, and any item item card that you're wanting. It's super good. I recommend you run three, maybe even four. So what you could possibly do too, get rid of this and add another one of these. It's super good. Super, super good. Another card that we're running, Staples. We're running four Nest Ball, four Ultra Ball, and one Hisui and Heavy Ball. The reason I have the Hisui and Heavy Ball is because if we have one of these Friggy Backs, then, you know, um, it's important to have it in the bench or even a Chan Pao and a Blastoise V. So that's why I run the Hisui and Heavy Ball on here. Instead of Professor's Research, I run four Chloralis Experiments. And the reason behind that is because I can pick and choose the cards I'm needing from the top of my deck and get rid of the rest without ditching my hands. Now, this card also, or not the card, but this deck also benefits off of Professor's Research. I actually thought about switching Chloralis Experiment for Professor's Research, but you know, they both have their pros and cons. What I don't like about Professor's Research is if you have some good cards in hand and that's your only supporter card, you don't always want to get rid of all the cards in your hand unless you absolutely have to, number one, or you're set up in a good position in which you can afford to lose those cards. That is exactly why we run the Colorist Experiments. We have one Lost Vacuum specifically for Path to the Peak and a bunch of other annoying cards that my my opponent may have. Uh, we just added Super Rod. You guys saw that. Skater Spark. You can honestly run three of these instead of, you know, two and then one. It's actually a really good card to have. This card itself has allowed me to win a couple games. So what this card does, it's really good because your Blastoise VMAX has a heavy retreat cost. And then what you could do is you can, you know, stockpile your, your, your hand with energy cards, add them all to your Blastoise VMAX, retreat it, grab them all to your hand and still set up with the Chin Pow. It's super, super good. Super, super good. I absolutely recommend this deck in any Chin Pow deck. Now, um, lastly, we have four rare candy for consistency. We are only running two Backscalibur, but um, consistency is very important. And you don't want to run with one of them or two of them in your price pool, which it has happened before. And that's why I'm running four of them. It's up to you if you want the four. You can run two because you're running two and two. But additionally, I like to run four because you can later discard them with the Ultra Ball or what have you. But that is it. We're running 12 energy cards. You can honestly run 12, or not 12 more, but you can run a lot more energy cards if you're needing. I like the 12 because, you know, Blastoise is my main attacker, number one. Number two, you know, I'm running two superior energy retrieval, and it's been working really well for me. Let me know what deck list you are running. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys have yourself a great day. Make sure you leave a like if you have not already, and stay tuned until the next video. We'll see you guys next time.